what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's been a long week it's been a long week for me on the other end i'm actually recording this on the day it was supposed to come out i was supposed to do this on i think it was sunday but i didn't get a chance to do it so have some time now on friday so i'm gonna see if i can get this out to you guys tonight because i did promise you guys that this episode the finale of c of season one would be out on friday so i'm gonna try to get this out to you guys tonight um i don't know if it's gonna be at the same time that it's usually out but hopefully it is hopefully it is i'm gonna try to make that happen anyways um we all know what's going on if you don't know go check the last reaction man go watch it um hopefully the season fan the um the season finale is a bomber and we can jump into season two i can start reacting to season two tomorrow um which is going to be saturday so this series is a very interesting series and i know a lot of you guys you know you leave your comments and stuff like that i've seen the comments throughout the week i do check the comments i do like the comments that i've been seeing some disagree with um what i had a problem with um and that's the beauty of the show man is for stir up feelings any any tv show any media any medium that can stir up your feelings they're doing a good job to stir up your feelings about something that is not necessarily the show's fault but just by how different individuals are going to interpret something um if you can do that with whatever you are creating you know what I mean? You have something good because that simply means that you're catering to not just the people who are just going to like it off the bat or whatever, because you probably hate some of the things in the show, but you still watch it. A lot of you guys I see throughout the weeks um, was talking about my take on Uhtred, right? A lot of you guys was talking about my take on it. I think it was like for, for uh, most likely for episode seven, I think. Um, you know, of, of him kind of leaving Mildred and all this other stuff. Like my stance on that really is that I'm not, he's a terrible father for leaving his son. Obviously, I think he should have taken his son with him. That's what he should have done. Some people have said that, um, you know, in those times, you know, Mildred did what she had to do to protect her son and all of this other stuff. Um, and I do understand that. I do understand, you know, but the beauty of TV shows, and this is what I say. The beauty of TV shows is basically, um, you know, is to draw parallels to real life and and the times that we live in versus the, the, the set of where um, the TV show is, uh, the times that they're trying to portray now i don't know much about you know history from back then and now all i can do is judge it based on i know of certain things that the church used to do that they don't do now you get what i'm saying that they don't do now um but at the same time you know when it comes on to what mildred did i still believe that you know she she shouldn't have done that she shouldn't have you get what i'm saying like based on her beliefs i can get why she did it but at the same time the man strictly told you he told you not to do that he don't he, he, he's not sure about it you get what i'm saying so for you to jump you know what i mean like for 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 um, for her to jump and say, okay, my child is going to go to hell if he doesn't get baptized. And it, it does goes to show you too how stupid people were when it comes on to their beliefs. How how stupid because they don't think for themselves. And that's why I, I think in one of the reactions or one of the reviews I was talking about how people do not get to know their God for themselves. They just take it for what like the logic doesn't compute in a lot of these things that they do. The, the, the logic doesn't compute. And, it, and and a lot of times, in my opinion, in spiritual things, a lot of it, it makes sense. You get what I'm saying? 
a, a lot of it is very logical. Some of it is extremely mysterious, don't get me wrong. But for somebody to tell you that if you don't baptize your baby, who your baby, right, does have, have no idea what's going on. No idea what's going on. Why would the child go to hell if you don't baptize the child? Don't make any sense. The child can't make no decisions. Can't make no decisions. Why would God punish if he's all-knowing? Right? If he's all knowing, he's he, he, he's all seeing, he sees all this stuff, faith and all that and all that good stuff, right? Why would he punish a child born into the world that don't know no better? Why would that child get punished? Wouldn't it be the parent that get punished and not the child? And that's what I'm saying. The logic doesn't make sense. And for you to just not question that because the church says so, it's kind of dumb. This is my opinion. But anyways, we're going to jump into this reaction. I will see you guys for the review. All right. So first of all, um, first of all, I have to say that um, you guys have seen my reactions throughout the season um, for these eight episodes, and you see that I'm enjoying the show. Nothing short of <laughs> enjoyment here. It is entertainment at its finest. Um, some of you guys have let me know without spoiling me, so thank you guys so much. I've let me know how close it is to actual history. You guys said this is way more accurate than Vikings, and I think that in summary, you know, in summary of not, you know, making a big explanation out of it, um, in summary, that's what, that is a good thing to say to me <laughs> right to say that it's more accurate than vikings because you guys know that i'm i've watched vikings so that gives me a a, a better picture of how to look at this um you know so okay so season one review i'm sorry that i'm kind of spacing out right now because i'm kind of like formulating i like to do my reviews fresh okay so I don't take breaks. I don't come. I don't take breaks to come back and do reviews because um, I just as soon as I finish watching the episode, I do the review. Because everything is kind of fresh, but I still sometimes sometimes I stumble through my reviews. But for the most part, I do remember um, everything that happened in the particular episodes. But this one is kind of like I'm reviewing the entire season, so I'm trying to remember everything that happened in season one. So we we met this dude. Uhtred, of course, from he was a young boy, saw his brother um, die. Well, not really seen, but he saw that his brother was killed by Danes. Um, then he was captured after he took his, you know, his town, whatever. And all this stuff that happened with Uhtred, he grew up, time skip. If I was supposed to nitpick about anything in this series, is the fact that they don't make time skips very clear. Um... You can see it by the fact that they've grown up, yes, but there was a, I think there was like two time skips in, in the series that caught me off guard. I think there was, um, the one where he, you know, from a child to an adult, that one was pretty obvious. They didn't need to tell anybody that there was a time skip there, but there was another one that really caught me off guard. There was one that in, with Mildred, right? Of her just going from them having sex to her being pregnant. And we didn't know, you know, we didn't know how much, how far along she was. So there was like a month, I think it was like months ahead that they just jumped to. And it, it it's nice. I just appreciate that. It's just a nitpick for me. It's just kind of like a pet peeve for me when I'm watching shows and things happen. Because I like to be able to follow you know how long one of the things that anime does very well is that explaining to you how long things have happened if a time skip has happened they update you during the season to let you know how many time has passed if, if it's even somebody saying it or something like that i think tv shows could learn um something like that when it comes on to anime animes usually they tell you 
You get what I'm saying? Somewhere or the other. Either it's on screen in, you know, in letters six months later or whatever, or they'll have somebody say it in the show. So I think that's one of the things that is just a pet peeve for me. Some people don't mind it. I think it, for me, the way how I follow stories, I need that included in it. But as I said, it's not that big a deal. Man, I, it, you know what I'm saying? It's not that big a deal. But I would just like to point that out, first of all, that's something that I had a pet peeve with, with the season. Not to say that's taking out, taking out, you know, like I enjoyed it any less because of that. That's not the case. So for season one, I would say I'm giving this a solid nine out of ten. The reason why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 is not because of what I just said um, that I had a nitpick about. Um, mainly reason why I don't give this a 10 out of 10 season. The main reason is because it's a setup. It's a setup story. It's establishing certain things about what we might see down the line and stuff like that. The relationship between um, Uhtred and King Alfred. I think that was the best highlight of the entire season for these eight episodes. I think those were the best interactions that happened during the show. Um, and I think it's the contrast that the the show is trying to um, show. I think that's the contrast, the, 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 the difference between these two, um, these two men and how they go about doing things. Um, you know, and as I said, when you look at it from an objective point of view, both of them did wrong. Both of them did right. I'm not going to say who's more right or who's more wrong. It's more of like these two characters that grew up very differently. You know what I'm saying? And then they played they played a part in each other's life that is so crucial in the end. Right. So Alfred finally deciding to trust Uhtred was one of the best highlights of the show um Uhtred just growth over the season of just seeing him going through all of this just taking L's back to back to back to back and just can't catch a break and you know that really resonated with me seeing him because I can relate to that so much so you know, and, you know, even in the end, even in the final episode um, that we just watched, you've seen him take so much. You've seen him even losing while he's winning. It's just crazy. You know, I think in some ways, you know what I'm saying, he might blame himself for Isolde's death because, as I said, if it was me, I would have never slept with her because you're ruining the gift, even though she wants to do it, you know, or maybe he's saying that if it's not going to be me, she's probably going to lay with somebody else just to not have that burden anymore. And it's kind of like the burden that she has is kind of like the, the burden of living forever. You get what I'm saying? We've seen, we've pro you, I don't know if you've seen, um, any shows where people, who are, you know, immortal and stuff like that. They always call immortality a curse, pretty much. Some people relish in it. Yes, there are shows that some people relish in it. But in most shows that I've watched where people have immortality, whether it be superheroes or whatever, they always look at it as a curse. I.e., in the context of this show, take it for somebody from, um, from Nordic mytho mythology, um, Odin's son, Balder, right? Um, he was immortal. I mean, other than the fact that he couldn't be, other than the fact that he's already a god, he was also invulnerable. Um, so it's like, you couldn't hurt him. He can't take a beating. He can't feel anything. And it's like a curse to him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, gods are not invincible. They can't be killed. You know, in, in the old, you know, just just thinking about it. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying that your God that you're serving in real life or whatever is, you know, somebody could kill him. That's not what I'm saying. So don't take what I'm saying out of context. I'm just saying that in in from what we've learned over time, we've know that God, they fight these battles. If you're fighting 
you know, why would somebody fight you if they know they can't kill you? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would somebody fight you if they know they can't kill you? You get what I'm saying? So, in all the other mythologies or whatever the situation is, those are these gods that can be killed. So, just in that context um, is just what I'm saying. But, in any case, when it comes on to um, this show, it just goes to show you that they go out of their way to portray these different aspects, right, of you know, life and what people go through. And I can relate to that. I can take so many things out of the show and put it against my life and say, I went through that. I went through that. I went through that. And I went through that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and to know that that stuff is still happening today. And this is set like in like the 18th or 19th century. Or <laughs> I don't even know what time period this was. <laughs> To be honest, I'm going to be honest. I don't even know which time period it is, even though they show it all the damn time on the screen. I don't even remember, um, you know, what year it was, you know. So in any case, man, as I said, it's a solid nine out of ten. Um, other than my other than my nitpicking, I really don't have any issues with the show. Um, the reason why. I'm taking a point off is be, is just because it's a starter. It's a starter story. There wasn't anything particular spectacular that they spectacular that they did. I think it's a, a really solid, real solid series that we're looking forward to. I know it's going to get better, and that's why I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10 right now because I think there's more to it. I think they could there's stuff that they could have that they could have done better and as i said i'm just looking at it from an objective point of view there's things that they could have that they could have done better um told the story a little bit more um straightforward but as i said they're doing an excellent job is not to take away anything from what they did but there's always room for improvement with anything that you watch or consume or whatever you can't just look at it and be like oh that was a 10 out of 10 um I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 on the sole reason that it's the first season. I never give first seasons of show of shows 10 out of 10 because I, from the hype around the show, you know it is probably going to get better. You get what I'm saying? For, just from the hype, just from the amount of people that is telling me you got to watch Last Kingdom. I know it's going to get, there's going to be seasons that I'm going to give a 10 out of 10. No doubt about it. I believe that this show is going to get better. I think this is a solid 9 or even a 9.5 out of 10 season. There's a certain things that I think that could be structured better. Um, there's scenes that could have been shot better. Um, you know, th there's just certain things like um, they had some beautiful shots in the final episode. Um, there are things that were completely like out of the blue like Uhtred jumping over the shields and everything what is this man superman i think stuff like that is the reason why i can't give it a 10 out of 10 because it's not realistic it just looks it just it, it's awesome to see on screen but it's not realistic and if you're going for a realistic feel there are things that you just don't do in battle you don't just let somebody burst out and then nobody tackles him he jumps over Pick, um, Bayaka just throws him a spear and he throws a spear and kills Squir Squirpa or whatever his name is, right? So, stuff like that is the reason why I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because that's just so unrealistic. But it's fun, <laughs> it's fun to see, you know what I'm saying? And I think this show is trying to come off as so much more realistic. And I think when you do stuff like that, it just kind of makes it seem there are other things that happen in the show that seems very supernatural. Um, and it shouldn't be like that. I like when shows, if you're trying to portray groundedness, then let it stay grounded. You get what I'm saying? Let it stay grounded. And, and I, I really do appreciate when shows do that. You stay grounded. You don't let people do things that are ridiculously out of the blue. They're not Superman. We're not watching a superhero movie. We're not watching a superhero show. So if you're trying to portray history and realness, you need to portray that as much as possible. Yes, they could have done it. They could have done it differently and make it seem more realistic how he got to Scorpa. But that's how they chose to do it. 
and I definitely have to take some points off of that because I'm watching, I'm feeling like I'm watching a grounded show. I don't want to see shit like that. You get what I'm saying? And that's not to say that it's not cool to see. And it was awesome. It was awesome to see. You saw my reaction to it, right? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. It's just like, looking when you're when i'm judging the show i'm gonna have to stay objective um so when i'm watching it i'm all in my feelings okay i'm all in my feelings as i said um when i took the break to go to part two it's just that i'm gonna be my feelings because i'm watching the show i'm in the moment but when i'm doing my reviews i have to stay objective okay not necessarily for the individual episodes but when i'm doing season reviews or the show entirely review i have to try to remain as objective as possible and saying things that they could have done better that they could have stayed away from and stuff like that um mildred mildred's character um she got shafted i'm not going to lie she got shafted she definitely did um a lot of you guys have pointed that out said I, um it's hard for me while watching the show to stay objective while watching the show when i have time to think about it um, as I'm about to do like a, a season eight to talk about things like on an, you know, on a different level of the walking dead, um, you know, after having time to think about things about that. So that review will be out as soon as possible so that I can get to it. But anyways, um, so yeah, man, I really enjoy season one and I'm giving it a nine out of 10, maybe even a 9.5. But I'm going to stick to nine. Um, I think the show is going to get better. And I'm looking forward to it. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for supporting the videos, man. You guys have been awesome. We're doing like 150 to 200 views per episode. So I'm pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm pretty cool with that. It's it's okay. You know, I, I'm not... <laughs> you know, I, you know at, at this point in time when it comes on to the channel, I'm not wishing for any grand for any grand thing i'm just doing my thing i'm just watching the shows and recording them and putting up for you guys who are supporting the videos i believe that one day soon enough you know these videos are going to get pushed at some point whatever you know people who have come on the channel they say how is it that you don't have a lot of subscribers and stuff like that and i don't know i think i think one of the main causes is because i don't have my 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 uh, my stuff on youtube so a lot of people like i've had comments that people come on the channel and they're like oh so this is just a review why you have reactions it's just like and people got to be telling them yo the link is in the description let's go watch watch the link in the description you know what i mean so it's like it's like they don't watch they didn't watch a video because in every video the intro the intro is parted is parted from the review and there's a a thing that shows up for 10 seconds it's on the screen saying full reaction link in description <laughs> literally <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it goes to show you that people don't really they don't really watch the video they just come to watch the reaction you know what i'm saying and it's like i shouldn't have to be telling people that the link is in the description at this point because if you actually watch the video you know what i mean um you'll you'll see that the reaction is not on youtube and it's telling you where the reaction is but in any case guys i appreciate you guys you already know gratitude is never enough i'll tell you guys thanks till kingdom come pun intended anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and i will catch you guys later man terabyte out peace